Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jason Ryder. I uh, work for the Department of Marine Resources in Mississippi. Like most people, we got started with off bottom aquaculture in 2018. We had a lot of hurdles to jump through. The first thing we had to do was change a lot of regulations to make it legal and feasible for farmers uh, to lease acreage and start off bottom businesses. So, Mississippi got started in 2018, and we're playing catch up with some of the other states. I think we're doing pretty well. Um, mainly what I'm going to focus today is on our off bottom training program. It's where the bulk of all our resources are, are being spent in Mississippi, uh, training individuals, getting them up to speed, learning about the success of the site, and um, <coughs> so first off, the program is a restore act project that aims to teach current farmers uh, all aspects of the program. That's a, that's a, a nice way to say it. this is a DB funded product. We're trying to help some workforce development go through and things. Uh, on completion, they want, we want them to maintain and operate their off bottom farm. And this program was uh, developed for two years. We're hoping to extend that out just because we are using our own money wisely and we could do that a little bit. So the program is split into two phases. First phase is the classroom training, and then they off bottom operating in the field work. Uh, we have five class classrooms that participants have to attend. They come learn the ocean farming 101, and then after that, we get them into the field. We loan them gear, we give them space to grow their oysters, and we, we actually, uh, in partnership with Auburn, give them seed to grow out while they're in the program. Uh, they take that seed and raise it from R6s to small size. Phase two focuses on profitability and sustainability of the farms, and we help them with technical guidance and assist them with business plans. So essentially what we do is, the first year of the program, we, we give them space in a training area, and then the second year they would be eligible if they complete all the requirements to lease acreage in the state of Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi right now has one aquaculture park, as other states are, are, are working towards. Um, ours is behind Deer Island, we have 50 commercial acres, if you see on the, on the left-hand side, the map is there. The pink area is, a, is available for lease. The yellow is for training. So they train in the yellow on the gear that we let, we loan them, and then they complete the program, and they sublease acres inside the park. We currently have 50 available acres, and we have some expansions, which I'll talk a little bit later. Um, this is just another aerial, aerial view of the site. It is expanding tremendously. We started in 2018 uh, training people and then rolled into 19. Uh, so the first class, what did we have? We had 20 participants that started in June of 18, completed everything. Um, they, they ran through the course. Some of the things we focused on was gear, we could manage it, uh, splitting, grading, tumbling, site maintenance, and once again, after successful completion, they're eligible to lease an uh, acreage in the new water park. So what are some of the results? And in 2018, they were they were given R6s. Our si our uh, they grew them out from the training program. We started with 20 people. We had 13 people that, that decided to lease acreage in Mississippi. Of those, um, the first harvest was on April 9th of 2018. And if y'all remember, 2018, in Mississippi, we had some fresh water that came in right after that. So we had the people started in August, they were ready to sell oysters in April and May, and then unfortunately they were closed down for um, We lost a lot of oysters in Mississippi in 2018. Uh, it, it decimated on our own bottom reefs and all bottom reefs. But the people that stuck with it, we have um, about eight, eight current leaseholders that are actively working their leases, and they, in 2018 sold 160,000 oysters, which was really only in November and December um, because we were shut down from May to November because of fresh water. I, I think that's a pretty impressive thing to do and those guys stuck with it and worked very hard and uh, they're seeing some of the results now that we move forward. Um, so in 2019, March of 2019, we, we held another old, uh, class and we, we have 21 people currently going through the same program. They are starting to get leases in the, the DMR commercial aquaculture park. As you see, we have expanded. We have an additional 132 acres being, uh, it has been approved for expansion of 
with Mississippi Farmers, and we, we are excited about growing into that area. Mississippi does not have any hatchery. We have a state-run hatchery through the University of Mississippi. They, they are producing oysters and doing a great job with that. We currently do not have any nurseries, but we, we are expecting that in the future. So thank you all for your time.